Let's get crazy up in here. Crazy up in here we get. Oh my god, I look bald. Damn it. <laughs> Greetings, loved ones, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> What is happening with this intro? I mean, it's just fully all over the place. <laughs> Greetings, loved ones, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to my closet. Today we are doing yet another closet purge video. I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, so I'm gonna edit it in now. I already did a closet purge about two videos ago, and for this month, at least until I start cleaning out more of my stuff, I'm going to be doing closet purge, different video. Closet purge, different video. Okay? In the last closet clean out that we did, I cleaned out my bras slash bralettes, my hats, and scarves. It was fantastic, I'll link it on the screen. And in this segment, we're going to be cleaning out my bathing suits. I'm sorry if you hear my dog sneezing on the ground. Also, if we're doing disclaimers, I'm just gonna say, I have body hair, and if you are offended by females with body hair, then maybe this isn't the video for you, and you should just take yourself and your time elsewhere, because if I see any comments just like generally shaming me, I'm just going to delete them. You know, like I've heard everything at this point, so just, you're wasting your breath, you're wasting your time, go use it productively, okay? <laughs> also in that regard, I don't think I've ever filmed a bikini like try on video where you can, you know, see me in the bathing suits. And I really wanted to make, and I probably still will do this sometime over the summer, like an entire video about wearing bathing suits with body hair because it's just like a whole different playing field than before for me with my body confidence and whatnot. And it took a lot of time for me to be able to, you know, like present myself in a bikini while also also growing out my body hair and I haven't been shaving since 2017 like fall of 2017 so it's been a minute and the journey has taken a while but she's here today sporting the bathing suits for all of you but I really wanted to film this because if I had literally anybody in my life who was online sharing themselves in a way where I could be like, oh, she has bikini line hair. Oh, she has a happy trail. Oh, she has armpit hair. Like that would have made me feel so much better. So if I can be that for you, that would just make my heart so happy. So that's why I felt like I needed to film this today. Also, more importantly, I needed to film this because I need to get rid of my bathing suits and I'm gonna be putting them on my Depop, obviously after I clean them and whatnot because I'm going to be wearing them before I send them off. So this all being said, I'm gonna be selling the ones that are like not ratty but let's take a look at what we have to offer today okay we are going through this entire little box some of these i've had since 2012 like my second video ever on this channel some of you might remember was i'm pretty sure like a summer haul or a bathing suit haul or something like that and i have had some of these since that video and <sighs> I just really need to go through them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw out the ones, not like physically throw away, but just toss out the ones that I am going to be keeping because they're iconic. First things first. This one from Hot Lava is incredible. It's, oh my God, I'm trying to balance this on my hip and it's like really getting crazy up in here. Um, this is my only bathing suit that's like biker short bottoms and it is so incredible. This was like my staple piece for when I started growing out my body hair because like it's not showing your bikini line so I would just wear this all the time and it's definitely my most worn bathing suit so keeping her. Next we have actually my most recent bathing suit purchase which is from COS Swimwear or COS Swimwear. Honestly I saw my friend Orion Carlotto wearing this one time and I asked her where it was from and she told me so I picked it up <laughs> and this is great it's like a cute little baby blue moment and the material is really nice it's high-waisted most of my bathing suit bottoms that I love to keep these days are high-waisted this one that I'm keeping is from Monday swimwear and it's just like a black one piece and it's kind of like high-waisted or high-hipped high cut that's the word I'm looking for I'm also gonna keep this incredible yellow tankini we love her work and I'm going to keep these black high-waisted sunflower bottoms because they are incredible and I love them. And everything else, let's just friggin' go through and make our decisions based on how they look and whatnot. We got a lot of work to get through, okay? Okay, the first one I'm gonna be wearing <laughs> is from Victoria's Secret Pink and we just need to have a nice snapping moment of me trying this on, okay? So let's put her on. Incredible. 
Wow, okay, so feeling a little exposed because this is my only push-up bathing suit and it definitely, it, she does the trick, okay? I'll say that. The bottoms are like a ruffled moment. This is all from Victoria's Secret Pink and I think I wore this actually over November in Jamaica and just the bottoms in general I think I need to get rid of because while they are my only navy blue, patterned bottom. They're just a little bit too tight on the sides. Like they're not very loose. I also think the ruffles are like slightly too young for me. Um, so I'm probably gonna get rid of the bottoms. But the top, we might have to keep it. I mean, it does a lot for me. Might as well keep it. <laughs> Okay, this next bikini is the last thing that I ever purchased from a fast fashion company. This is from, I believe, Romwe or like Sheen or some shit. I don't know, I don't recommend that you purchase from them because their practices are horrible, but it's very cute. <laughs> It's this nice little sunflower strapless number. And I don't really wear strapless things because my chest is so big that like, it just whew, slides right off, a tit flies out, it's horrible. But honestly, the coverage is pretty good for a strapless moment. It's just like a huge block. I like the pattern and the ruffles and whatnot. And then the bottoms are really bright sunflowery yellow. And they literally are the only thong piece that I own, <laughs> like a thong bikini. And you know, we're showing a lot in this video, but I'm not gonna be showing that because I still haven't even gotten up the courage to wear this in public. I don't know, I feel like it's so easy for some people to just like sport their thong bikinis out. And in my case, not really the same. So I don't know. Part of me is like, if you're not gonna wear it, just get rid of it. But at the same time, I want to get to the place where I have the courage to wear these bikini bottoms outside of the comfort of my own home. <laughs> but honestly, love them. Love them so much, we're gonna keep this one. Okay, this next one, I think this is the only tie bikini top that I still own, you know, like a halter tie one. And I kind of like how this fits, but also at the same time, I'm terrified of it because I know that if I wear it for a prolonged amount of time, it just starts to cut. But at the same time, part of me wants to just keep this like black top to wear with different bottoms so I can mismatch the stuff around that's in my collection. So I might just keep it because I think this is the only black top I own. I mean, I own a black one piece, but as for wearing it with different bottoms, I think that that's the case. Also, same case for these black bottoms. These are from, I think both of these actually are from Victoria's Secret. Maybe the top is from somewhere else, but most of the bathing suits that I have in my collection from back in the day are all from Victoria's Secret Pink, which I also don't shop at anymore. But I think that I'm gonna keep this one. Wait, I just realized that I don't even have my studio lighting out. That's okay, we won't switch it up too hard. I am gonna change angles though. Okay, these bottoms that I'm wearing right now are the exact same style as the black ones I was just wearing, but in a neon pink and they are too much. I feel like they're just too tight. I need to like hike them up onto my hips for them to even look decent. So I'm gonna get rid of, they're also giving me the double butt cheek in the back, you know, like the cutoff. So I'll be getting rid of the bottoms. As for the top, I like it, but at the same time, I think if I'm gonna keep one navy blue top, it's gonna be that one that I already wore, the like push-up situation. And I don't know, I just feel like I would've worn this when I was like 15, but now I'm 23 and it's gonna be a no from me. <laughs> it is really cute though. I like the ruffles and it has these little like flower designs on the front or the flower texture so that you can see the hot pink through the holes. And it's very cute, but I don't know about it. We will sell her on Depop. Depop.com slash Megan underscore Hughes. Okay, this next one, I forgot. This was one of the most recent things that I purchased off of Depop. And it's an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. And I'm keeping it because it's so cute. Okay, if you see the giant hip bruise, just don't even worry about it. I was doing a slip and slide with Finley the other day and I injured myself, okay? It's what happens when you drink 40s and go on a slip and slide in your yard. But that's a separate tangent. I just wanna say that this is literally a bandeau. I don't know how or why this is in my bathing suit collection. I guess because you could just wear this kind of nylon-y fabric into the pool and it would probably just dry off just fine like a bathing suit would. But I'm gonna keep the top, get rid of the 
bathing suit bottoms. They're just like a regular tie bottom, but I don't really like how they fit. But the front of it is just strange. I don't really like it that much. So I'm gonna get rid of these black tie bottoms. And I don't know where they're from, like freaking Billabong or some shit like that. But yeah, they're going on the pop. I just found this Unif kind of boy short bathing suit that I actually stole from my sister back in the day. Sorry, Linz, but this is really cute. I'll be keeping it. It fits nice and it's one of those short bikinis that I like. Okay, the fit of this next bikini is just honestly comical. There is so much room between my boob and the cup. It's like at least a centimeter of room. And also just imagine wearing something like this and doing a jump off of a diving board or something like that. Like full boob out, you know? It would just not work out at all. I don't know how I ever wore this. I think maybe it came with a strap that like goes over the top. It looks like there's little clasps for that. I think I probably do have the strap at the bottom of this box, but um, I'm gonna be selling this. It's a really pretty pattern and I like the colors and stuff, but she's getting sold. Also, I probably won't sell these bikini bottoms because they're just like old and fraying at the back or they're pilling at the back. Okay, both of these pieces, I'm like 95% sure are my childhood best friend Abby's. So I don't really know how these came into my life, but they kind of have like a bedazzling at the cup and it's almost like the other cup bra that I have, but not as like supportive and also not as large. I don't know. I feel like it's just too small for me. The cup also feels weird. I don't know, it feels kind of strange under there. I feel like it's like bent out of place. Anyways, I'm gonna try to bend this back into place and sell the top if you guys want it. And then the bottoms are like, I didn't even know I owned these. I don't even know where they're from. I don't know when I got them, but they're like a multicolored kind of moment. They're like a very fabric-y bikini. I know that's a horrible way to describe it, but it's very textured. This is what I'm talking about, okay? This is the kind of material. This seems to be from Accessorize, so I don't know where that is, but um, I'm probably gonna sell these. They're nice, you know, but just forgot I owned them, so that's when you know you have to get rid of something. Wow, I did find the bag of straps at the bottom of this box. This next bottom is more so what we're focusing on, and I'm gonna show it to you because I don't know how I feel about it, and I need some votes in the comments. So first, the bum, the little ties, it's basically like a purple leopard print number with like gold little details on the sides. I think I'm gonna sell this. I'm not 100% sure, leave me a comment down below, but this is what I'm talking about with like, if I keep the black top, then I can wear these kind of mismatched bottoms because I must have donated or gotten rid of the top at some point or maybe given it to a friend because I don't know where it is. Maybe it just stopped fitting me at some point. But also I don't remember the last time I wore these bikini bottoms. So leave me your comments down below on how you feel about the uh, leopard print purple one, okay? Also, is this even focused? I need to know. Okay, these next two pieces, oh my God, I almost tripped and fell. These next two pieces did not come together, but the teal on the top, kind of in these little diamonds almost matches the bottom in a way. This is probably one of the smallest pairs of bikini bottoms I own. Aside from the thong one, it's pretty much doing the same. Like my cheeks just swallowed it up. So that's a reason for me probably to sell it. <laughs> um, I don't think it's supposed to do that. It's not supposed to be like a thong fit, you know? And I'm also probably gonna get rid of the top because I don't really love white colored tops on me. I'm just way too pale for them. Like this needs to go to somebody who has some sweet tan going on and the white will complement it, you know? But I never have that going on ever in my life. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cute. I mean, it has like some nice cup support and everything like that with the ruffle over it. And the straps, like they don't tie or anything. They're not adjustable, but it fits pretty well. So I'll probably sell both of these pieces I don't know how I feel about the bottoms. Again, you can comment down below about them. They're like a teal tie-dye moment with some nice side designs. As you, I don't know what I'm trying to do, how I'm trying to show you these pieces. It's just happening. Okay, I put on this white colored bikini to try on this white bottom and this black bottom, but then I was like, okay, these are the last at the bottom of the box. I already have a black bottom that I'm keeping and a black bottom that I'm selling, the little tie one. And then this one is kind of the same, but it has a cinched butt, like in the butt crack, it's a little bit cinched. Can you see? There you go. The white ones are not like that, but again, like I was just saying with the top I was just wearing, 
I can't wear stuff like this. Like it just makes me look so much paler than I already am. And it's in basically perfect condition because I never freaking wear these. And so I'm gonna sell it. And then this black bottom I'm gonna sell as well. These are from Old Navy. Um, actually, they're not that great. I might just donate them. They're not like pilling or stained or anything, but if I'm already selling another black bottom, I might as well just donate that one. Anyways, I can't see if I'm focused or not because I took my glasses off at some point during this process. I sincerely hoped that was in focus for the try on portion of this because if it wasn't, oh honey, I'll be pissed and I'll have to refilm this for the next few hours, but that's fine. It's fine. I think that everything worked out today as planned and um, yeah the ones that I'm going to be getting rid of will be on my Depop but I want to show you the collection of things we're keeping because it is seriously dwindled. All right here it is folks. I know it doesn't look like that much of a difference but this is everything we're keeping in the box. The beautiful box. She's moved from every house with me that I've ever lived in. Ah oh, my old purple room. TBT. Comment down below if you remember my purple room in my parents house. And this is everything we're getting rid of so let's see how many bottoms eight bottoms four tops okay i thought i had more tops but it's fine we're fine i'd say that we did some pretty good work today if you ask me got rid of a lot um and i have never done that before i've never gone through my bathing suits and been like wow i should probably get rid of these so felt like this was a nice video for me to make because again I have way too much shit and you guys just help me get rid of it. So I appreciate you. Um, comment down below how you feel about that purple leopard bikini print bottom as well as the tie dye one. I wanna hear your thoughts. Sound off in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed this. I'll probably be listing these after I wash them tomorrow or the next day, sometime this week, but depop.com slash Megan underscore Hughes. That's my username. You can find me on the app, buy out my closet, follow your dreams. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload. You can become a patron of mine if you want to support my earnings for this month. And until my next video, stay smiling. Bye guys. <laughs>